Hello YouTube, Ken Hell here with another Genshin Impact video for you. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing MiHoYo's latest announcement on the tweaks they're going to make to both Zhongli, but also the Geo element as a whole in Genshin Impact. And they're planning to release this, these changes on patch with patch 1.3, which will be probably coming out in about two months if they keep up with their release schedule originally they announced that they, they are planning on to release one big patch every six weeks so 1.2 should be coming out this coming week on the 23rd i believe and then six weeks or seven let's say seven weeks after that let's give them a little bit of room breathing room there uh, for any eventualities uh, so probably seven weeks after that six seven weeks after that we can expect 1.3 and the they will be testing these changes on the beta servers for 1.3 so if somehow you have access to that you can go get in there and let us know how this is going but yeah the changes are supposed to help out Zhongli because they really they received a lot of feedback that's what they're saying here in the first part that people are, are unhappy with uh, his abilities and we all know anybody has been on youtube for the past couple of weeks has seen lots of videos on Zhongli i myself made some uh, my opinion is that he was not too bad, but a few changes you know, wouldn't wouldn't hurt. And the changes that they're proposing here will not only improve his damage output, but also his usability overall. So let's get started here. The first change they're going to make is that they're going to change his passive talent, his second ascension talent here, to increase pretty much every single part of his kit, the damage of every, every single part of his kit based on his HP. Originally, only his elemental burst, Planet B-Fall, was affected by this passive, but now they'll be extending that benefit to all his other abilities. So his normal attack, charge attack, and plunge attack will be increased by 1.39% of Zhongli's max HP. And you can see here on the little demo underneath here that it's pretty much doubling his damage output. Obviously, we don't know what level HP these characters have here. We don't know if it's just base or I don't know if it's a, you know, all decked out in good gear. But you can see here that it's... It's a pretty big jump, even at 1.3%. My Zhongli right now, it's he's got some pretty crappy artifacts on him, and I'm about around 22,000 HP. So 1% of that going into my damage is it's still quite a bit. They can't really go too much higher than this because I've heard that some people stack like 40,000 HP on Zhongli, so that would be way too much. They're probably going to stick around under 2% on the damage. But you can see here, it's, a, it's an interesting damage addition here. Allow him to kill things a lot faster. I still don't think that he's going to be a DPS character. I don't think that that is his purpose. It's really pretty clear if you look at his kit and how he works, and especially now uh, with more, even more HP stacking being, uh, being more viable after these changes. I don't think that he's supposed to be a DPS character anyways. But if you want to main DPS him, if you if you enjoy playing the character like I do, uh, I, I kind of got Kitchen now, so I'm, I'm that, that's, that boat has sailed. But for a while there, I was maining Zhongli and, and making him my main DPS because they like suffering apparently. But yeah, so if you like auto attacking with him, uh, this is going to make him even a better DPS character with the uh, with a spike crescent spike or the skyward spine or something like that. Then they're also increasing the damage of his Steely thing or Steely? What is it called? So I guess I'm Steely and this is the Steely. Anyways, uh, yeah, the, the passive, the second ascension of passive is also going to increase the damage of the Steely by almost 2% of Zhongli's max HP. And you can see here that once again, it is more than doubling the damage you can see the first stick on the on the right here does 200 and the second and the, the first stick here on the, the, the 700 damage so quite a big jump there in damage from the Sealy, especially considering they can have a bunch of constructs resonating off of each other if you play with other geo characters so quite a big damage increase there especially because you can still put the Sealy down and then combo that with his normal attacks for even more damage so pretty much doubling his damage output here at least doubling his damage output here just on its own with these two changes. And then the third part here is, is the same. The His elemental burst is going to continue to receive the 33% damage from his HP or increasing damage from his HP. Next change they made here is to his the hold mode of his uh, elemental skill, which before is simply create a shield around the character, but now he's only not only going to create a shield around himself, but he's also going to put the, the stone steely down, which is going to start taking for more damage now because of this buff. Well, not now. Once the changes go live. And this is really cool because now you have to choose which one you want, the steely or and the shield but once these changes go live then you will be able to get both it's pretty cool because uh, this having the steely on the field actually has a pretty cool effect of giving you infinite crystallized shields if you have another character that can produce elemental reactions so that's one one thing that i, I actually want to make a video on it because i feel like a lot of people underestimate the power of the stone steely but now it's going to be even better because you don't have to, ch to choose if you get if you want crystallized shields or zongli's shield this of course is contingent on you not having the maximum amount of steelies if you already have one in place it's not going to create anything but if you have zero 
you both create the steely and also create the shield around Zhongli. If you have this constellation one, then you'll be able to, if there is one already, you'll be able to create a second one and create the shield around himself. And this change is actually one of my favorites from, from this whole thing here, because like I said, I don't think he's a DPS character anyways. And this way he'll be able to not only give you a shield, but also a tick, a little bit of tick damage there, which again is not his main deal, but you know, a little more damage never hurts anybody. Plus the crystallized shields, they're going to be just the, the orbs or the crystals are going to be popping every few seconds uh, so long as you are applying elements. So you're going to be re constantly re refilling your shields, but also you're going to be getting the ticks of energy. So it's gonna, one, one skill is going to be supporting the party in three ways, through shields, a little bit of damage, and a little bit of energy. So this this change here is my favorite change. The other part of this change, though, is that they're also changing it. So this shield that he makes, that he creates with the hold E, is going to give you 150% damage absorption for elemental and physical damage here. So this shield will be even, even better. And it's already better with the changes here, right? Because with these two changes, now you want to pretty much just go straight HP with him. So the shield is already going to be stronger to begin with because it already scales off his HP. But now it's going to be even stronger because it's going to also get 150% extra physical and elemental damage absorption. So that's that's pretty, pretty good. Another cool change, they're also adding an interrupt resistance. Before, when you're in the middle of a very long animation to cast your shield, you can easily get knocked down. You can see in the picture. But once the changes go live, you'll be able to just take take the punches and keep casting your skill, which is very important because often if you, when you're casting this shield, you're casting because you want to avoid damage and get interrupted out of it was a good way to get your characters killed so now you're not going to waste any time you're just going to waste some health but you're going to you're already doing that before anyway so now at least you're going to get a shield out of getting punched in the face just keep in mind as, the, as they are showing every picture or adding to every picture here, these are beta versions and they're not no don't take these as a final changes uh to keep in mind that they're still going to be tweaking this for at least the next six or seven weeks but that doesn't mean that we can go on the forums and talk about what this changes that we see i'm i'm fairly happy with these changes right now again the the damage ones are less important than the changes to his elemental skill, his hold E. This is really, really awesome to see. And that makes him definitely a great character to, to have in your party for, for end game purposes, uh, I would say. I, I, I already thought that he was a pretty good character to have in your party for end game stuff. But now with these changes, he's going to be doing a little more damage in case you need it. The extra physical damage from his auto attack, from his normal attack. A little more geo damage as well if, you, if you're willing to stack those constructs. And a much, much better hold E skill here that's going to protect you better, give you more energy because you're going to be on the field more often and you're not going to get punched out of it. So really, really good buffs here for Zhongli. He's, I don't think anybody thought that his elemental burst needed any kind of buffs. He was already doing enough damage as it is, and he's going to be doing even more damage. Now, he kind of got an indirect buff with that, right? Because he's gonna be, you're going to be stacking a lot more HP on him. Now, it's probably the best way. Might be, at least for as a support character. Maybe if you want to go full DPS on him, it used to be better to put all attack. But again, I don't think anybody's going to recommend at the current state of the game for you to use him as a main DPS. I still think that once they in include more gear or characters in the game that will allow Zhongli to take advantage of his very very fast normal attack then he can become a dps monster right now i think the only things that we have is the, the the crescent pike and the skyward spine but once you get some maybe artifact set that are that do damage based on number of hits because he got n nine hits on his normal attack chain or maybe there's some kind of uh, character support character skill from other characters that will allow him to increase damage with every hit Something like that. Uh, at that point, then Zhongli will become a damage monster. But for now, he is pretty much a support. If you're looking for a DPS character, then don't roll on the banner. Which, actually, you only have two days left at this point. But if you want a support character that will help you get through pretty much any content in the game, go ahead and do your polls while you can. Because he'll be gone for a while. We have no idea when these ban event banner characters will be coming back. And then you can move on to the changes here to the Geo element as a whole. And they're going to be changing the elemental resonance from uh, having two Geo characters, at least two Geo characters in your party. And before you got an increased interruption, plus 15% damage increase while you had a shield, which is already pretty good. One of the best in the game. But now the shield is going to be increased by, the shield strength is going to be increased by 15%. And they are also going to, still going to increase your damage by 15%. And also going to reduce the enemies affected by by characters that you hit. The, their geo resistance is going to go down by 20%. So if you're using Zhongli as your main DPS, his elemental burst and his stone sealies are going to be doing even more damage. Or, of course, it's going to be great for those of you who main Ningguang, right? Because pretty much all her damage, I think all her damage, comes from geo. So decreasing enemy resistance by 20% is going to be amazing for Ningguang 
and Noel as well, because Noel's burst transformed all her damage into geo damage. Just keep in mind any resistance reductions below zero uh, are halved. So if your character, that if an enemy that you're fighting has zero geo resistance, this is actually gonna only going to reduce it to minus 10%. So I'm not sure how the damage calculations work. I don't know if it's going to be a 10% additional damage increase uh, or, or how the, those work out. But just keep in mind that the characters, the enemies are not going to be at minus 20 resistance. It's just going to be minus 10%. Still a pretty big jump combined with an additional 15% damage they're going to be getting here looks like they re they're taking the resistance to interruption out though that's not good at all because the, the resistance to interruption is very very nice and the second change here to the geo element as a whole is going to be how they're adjusting the the shields here and these are any shields pretty much that are created by geo characters so zhongli's elemental skill noel's elemental skill and any crystallized shields created by those uh, little annoying mobs that keep teleporting or digging holes and, and moving everywhere spinning everywhere the geosonics not other crystallized shields only the geo ones so any geo shields so those who are now going from instead of having giving you 250 percent geo damage absorption to giving 150 percent physical and elemental damage just like zhongli's shields when well, the changes that were mentioned above so pretty good change sadly these are the hardest crystallized shields to make so if you don't have zhongli and if you don't have noel i don't think there's any way to create these kind of shields with uh, with ningguang and uh, we don't know yet probably no there's not gonna be a way to create uh, these with uh albedo as well so that's um uh, that's unfortunate but no, makes Noel more powerful and Zhongli more powerful. Noel is going to be buffed a lot when the next when this patch comes out because her shield will be more powerful and she's going to be doing more damage because of this debuff here on enemies. If you have another Geo character in the party, so Noel getting some nice buffs. So yeah, and then here they're just saying that they're, they're doing their best to uh, make sure that Zhongli uh, ma matches up to people's expectations, which is impossible because. Um, People are always hyped for, for five star characters, but they're going to try to do their best to get as close as possible to that. And then these changes are not final and blah, 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 blah. So yeah, pretty much overall, some very good changes here for Zhongli, increasing his damage a little bit, but increase, increasing his ability to support the team, become an even better support character to help you. And again, just keep in mind that these are current adjustments and not final, as they're saying over and over again. So don't get angry. If you want to, if you want, if you think these changes are not enough, go ahead and post your constru constructive criticism on their forums. And I'll put a link to this page down below here so they can go and check yourself uh, and see if I missed anything. And I don't think I did. I read this page a couple of times. But am I, I'm excited. I'm glad that I pulled for him. I might try to squeeze a couple more pulls here before the, the banner is over because he's going to become a very, very, very good character. But that's going to be it here for today's Genshin Impact video. As always, if you liked the video and thought it was informative, I'd appreciate it if you could hit that like button. And if you want to see more Genshin Impact content from me, don't forget to subscribe and also come join the streams here on the YouTubes. Come hang out and uh, watch me suffer trying to get to floor 12, the abyss and other random Genshin Impact shenanigans. And also come join the Discord community. Links down below. And that's going to be it from me for now. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.